the Libertarian nominee for governor, and I'm here also as a resident of your county. We need to cut government waste. A 17% increase on top of about a 10% increase in property valuation is just unacceptable. Put it to the people to vote. You're supposed to be representing the people. Let's find out what the majority want. Let's put it out to vote. There's a coming up vote November 4th. Let's put it on the ballot. Let's add it there. Let's get the real feedback. These meetings are not attended by the people that really care about a tax cut. They're working. They can't come to these meetings. They don't hear about them. I didn't learn about this till Sunday. Now I'm running for governor. And I live in your county. The, you're not hearing the people's wants and needs at these meetings. You're hearing the limited people that want your money, the special interest groups. We need government to serve the people and not special interest groups, not organizations that want handouts. There are a lot of good organizations. I'm not against these organizations at all. I've contributed to a number of these different organizations or have memberships to some of them also. And that's the way they should be run. Government needs to get out of this business. We and our elected officials need to represent the people and what's best for them. Reduce government, reduce the taxes, we'll increase our economy. We'll actually have people's values of their homes go up. Number one asset for a lot of the residents in this county is their home. Uh, property tax increases, de increase, decreases the value of their home because of that. Also buildings and commercial uh, facilities, the value decreases because of the cash flow associated with it. Rent will increase on poor people because of this tax increase. Poor neighborhoods also are going to be paying more. They can barely make it. Don't do this tax increase. Hold it back. Thank you, sir. Next speaker.